Okay, so here's a little something about Lita. She's definitely been on the streets for a while. So I just wanted to show you a little something about dogs that have been found. Unlike Ledbetter, who only had a few cuts and scratches, you know, scars, and, uh, and Toffee, who's in perfect health, and, and they were found fairly early, I think. Um, Lita's been on the streets for a while, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of her backstory from things that I see on her body. If you look at her face, you're going to see there's a little, some scars, some white scars on this side. Yeah. There's like a big notch right here on her nose. On this side, she has a few more scars on her face. They look like, you know, dog fight bites. Um, this neighborhood, uh, Petey was found with quite a few of these um, that were older, not from his fight, but actually... Um, Probably from dog fights, BB guns. There's some scars here. She's she's a very healthy dog, but she certainly has gone through stuff. So anyway, some of these dogs have scars from uh, buckshot, BB guns. Um, you know, they've been hit with sticks or uh, abused in some way by uh, owners or non-owners. Um, you know, some of them are people who just are afraid of them, that think they're aggressive. As you can tell, she's she certainly doesn't show signs of being aggressive, but, you know, she... Who knows what people think when she tries to love them or get pets from them or food from them. Um, fear and frustration and anger and the stray dog problem out here um, leads to a, a fairly abusive culture. Uh, so... There you go. See the little scars? You know, she shares the streets with eight to 9,000 stray and loose dogs. So these scars could be from human or dog or canine. Um, here's one right here. A little tiny. It's like maybe a bite mark or something. Overall, a very pretty girl with a few war wounds. Uh, the sweetest dog uh, for humans. She is definitely a people person, a people dog. Uh, she seems to be ignoring other dogs. Um, and she doesn't seem to like cats all that much, which is why she's staying in this room with us. Um, she seems to be someone who is really meant for uh, a single person or a couple Maybe a family. I haven't seen her with children yet, um, but she seems very much uh, interested in being a loyal human's companion. So that's Lita. Lita and her war wounds. Okay, cutie.